All right, we're going to go ahead and start going over Gaia a little bit here. Now, what Gaia is, is, in my opinion, it's a replacement to World Machine. It acts and behaves similar to World Machine, but has a few different things that we can go over that makes creating landscapes a little bit easier. Uh, we're going to go over this uh, starter menu at the beginning when you first open it. So the first option you have is your recents. So these are things that you've recently worked on. Um, you can just open them up from here if, if you still have the file. I don't. I deleted it. I delete almost everything I work on because unless it's a project for somebody, I don't really keep because I mostly just play around. Um, the other side over here is where you can choose what you want to open up. So you have the graph style terrain editor. And this is what's more akin to World Machine. Then you have layers. And if you're really used to working in Photoshop, this comes in handy. Um, and this is ideal, obviously, for quick sketches, prototyping, and learning. It's pretty good. Um, I find that if you use the graph for learning, uh, the layers becomes a lot easier because it is easier to work with. I recommend using the graph to learn just so you can understand how node-based graph terrain editing works because that's what you're going to be wanting to use later in the future anyways and then la use layers for just quick putting together things like it says quick sketches and prototyping stuff like that then you have the erosion studio and this is really nice because you can actually hand sculpt an entire terrain with erosion studio so you can make a terrain in the graph editor and then import it into the erosion studio and then you can do all your erosion um, and that sort of stuff. <laughs> Sorry, I'm not feeling all that well. Just barely woke up to uh, <coughs> in the er erosion studio. And it's a little bit easier to select where you want to erode things and it does it all in a nice scientific way. Then you can open a file that you've already worked on and then there's a quick start. And quick starts are just presets that have been made to show you how to do certain things. And I recommend going through a few of these um, or even all of them because they're really nice they show you how to do some really cool stuff this snowy mountain peak I recommend looking at quite a bit now um, you also have uh, techniques and the techniques are really important because you can look at what you need to do or how you can do certain things uh, with quote unquote techniques kinda like this wave in Arizona which is a really nice one um, and then you also have like the twisted sandstone, which I think is really nice. Um, and then the simple mesa. So go through a few of these and just kind of look around and play around with some of the different uh, settings they have in here in these quick starts just to kind of get familiar with everything. Uh, but what we're going to do is um, we're just going to go ahead and jump right into the graph. And then after this, um, I don't, I don't want this video to be too long, so we're not going to dive into anything right now, but you can, we will in the uh, next video. And uh, Sorry for my dogs, they, uh, they're in here chilling with me. Alright, I will see you in the next one.